understanding that everything has a cause helps me decide, you might say. But I'm not really deciding um, how I interact with people. See, the idea of knowing whether or not I should comment on somebody's Facebook post, even a simple thing as commenting on a Facebook post or on their blog or something, whether or not I should do that means I don't have a free will. And here's what I mean. Because if I should or should not do it, that implies a morality of it. And there's still a concept of morality that I hold on to because if me commenting on something is going to start a fight, if it's going to cause some stupid debate or, or argument that just upsets people, well, then I shouldn't do it because I'm against causing pain or suffering of any kind even on Facebook. And I've posted some controversial stuff before, and usually it'll be related to abortion or veganism or religion, something really controversial where everyone disagrees on it. And I'm not going to just stop posting stuff on the internet or or talking about it just because somebody might get offended because first of all I have no way of knowing who's gonna get upset or angry um, at what I say because here's how here's how it goes um, like let's just take something like um, religion okay no matter what religion you claim to be of you got somebody mad at you because, like, if you're a Christian, you got the Jews and the, and the Muslims angry at you because you got the wrong religion. If you're a Jew, you got the Muslims and the Christians uh, mad at you because you have the wrong religion. If you're Muslim, you got the Christians and the Jews against you because you got the wrong religion. And that's just taking those three monotheistic religions, which are actually very similar. But, like, religious wars, that's a good example of, basically, you... Somebody will get mad at you. It is inevitable that if you say anything, somebody who disagrees with you and wants to defend their own view is going to get mad at you. It's sort of like if I post something about vegetarianism or veganism, um, then somebody else wants to defend their carnivorous ways. They want to defend their eating of meat. And that's interesting to me, the idea that you can't say anything um, because somebody will get upset. Because, like the meat thing, like, if somebody says, well, you know, it causes suffering to kill um, animals, then you got all sorts of different of opinions on that. And people say, well, let's just kill them painlessly. And I like, I, I like it when people say that in a way, even though I still don't think it's right to kill them, but I fe feel like that's a step in the right direction. Um, but see, ultimately, if you only view the cow or the chicken or the sheep or whatever um, as something that its entire purpose exists for you to eventually kill it and eat it, then you are not viewing that living organism as a living thing with its thoughts and feelings and desires as equal to yourself. And I look at it that way and I'm thinking, Wow, like I, I just don't think we have, have the concept of equality. People have sexist and racist and speciesist attitudes like, oh, well, I'm better than this thing. And I'm like, no, you're not better than somebody else, whether they're another human or whether they're, they're a cow or whether they're a different gender or from a different religion. No, you're not better than somebody else. I'm not better than anyone that's watching my videos, okay? And I just want to get this message of equality out there because once you get it, once you get the concept of equal rights and treating others the way you would want to be treated, when you get that, it changes everything.